Good morning, good life. I am working, absolutely working this flannel. <laughs> Today is a very special day. I'm actually on my way out, running late, to be realistic, running late, to um, go and record the audiobook for Good Morning, Good Life. This is exciting for a number of reasons. First of all, I'm not doing it myself this time. The last time I recorded an audiobook, I decided I was gonna do it completely on my own because I have audio equipment, I do that kind of thing all the time, but it was really, really difficult to get the thing approved by Audible. Ultimately, if you don't know your engineering with audio, you shouldn't try to do it yourself. I'm so sorry for the mess, by the way. It's like, it's a, it's a cluster over here. So I'm excited to actually get in studio with somebody who knows what they're doing so that I can just do the the thing that I'm good at. Start letting go of the things you're not good at. Start letting go of all that time. You don't need to spend on this kind of thing just to save a couple bucks. Spend money on somebody who's really good at what they do and that's what I'm doing today. I'm paying somebody and their studio to record the audiobooks. I'm very excited about that. I feel like we're really under the gun at the time of this recording. There's definitely a good amount of time until the book comes out, but it still feels like a lot of pressure. It feels like a lot to do, but it's also like we've gotten a lot done. We just gotta keep moving. Every day, it's like a small step toward the book getting done every single day. So the more we do that, the more we're gonna be well on our way. Lucy's gonna go to daycare, I'm gonna drop her off. Of course, of course, I was like preaching to the world how I never get sick. Never get sick, I'm so great, my immune system rocks. I try to eat healthy most of the time so that I can keep things going and I never have to take off any work from being sick. And of course, like this past weekend, I got a little sniffle and a little bit of a little bit of a throat situation right before you're recording an audiobook always good so trying to push through that right now definitely gonna need some tea oh I might stop at Starbucks and get their medicine ball <gasps> yeah that's a great idea and that means I gotta go Yeah, I'll do it just so we have another take of it in case you like this better. Good morning, good life. Five simple habits to master your mornings and upgrade your life by Amy Schmittauer Landino. Editing the book. Very fun setup down here. Clearly I am not the musician that is typically in this audio studio, but this chair speaks to me, so. She went on to explain this foreign concept to me for a little while until it finally computed and led to this being the most important conversation I've ever had. Okay, it's five o'clock. I'm gonna be honest. I was really hoping that we were gonna be done at like three for the day, like halfway done through the book, but I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I think when this is a for the first official time that the words are being put on record, it's a very different editing experience. And since obviously, I'll turn the car off. It's probably annoying. Since I'm self-publishing, this editing process is really on me and the people that I hire. And so I guess I was kind of just seeing a lot of things that didn't come through the way I wanted it to, co to come through. My staff's also been looking at the words to kind of make sure that it makes sense. And um, they really, they don't just get the message. They're also people who might buy a book like this. So it's great to get their feedback. So I guess I'm just feeling a little bit uneasy because we made some really significant changes today. I'm not going to lie. Like there's entire sections were cut. I don't think that I wasn't expecting that to happen. I didn't think that they were gonna happen the way they did, but you know, it is what it is. It's been a really good experience so far. We're halfway done with the book, which is a good thing, which means if we get the other half done tomorrow and it goes more smoothly, then I don't have to keep recording. To be honest, it's like the most tedious process. Not only trying to sound like yourself on audio, but you also, like, I'm probably over-articulating right now because of the habit that I've been in all day to make sure that I finish my words completely. It is so annoying, because I'm like, I don't really talk like that, but you gotta talk like that. So anyway, I just think I'm gonna go through a lot of the stuff that we did today, make sure I feel really good about it. I don't mind making it shorter of a book. I think anytime you make something a quicker read, it's more appealing. It's also a pretty good size length book. So I'm not that worried about that. But I just wanna make sure everything's good with what we did today and some of the things we learned today are hopefully not gonna to happen tomorrow. So I have a little bit of homework tonight, which is great, but it would have been better if I had left at three and not five. So sad, it's a sad, 
sad moment, but we're gonna get through it. If we do things right, we'll be done tomorrow. That's what I'm looking forward to. So great that this gets to be like the end of my job. When I'm done recording it and it's done, like that's the end of my job with the audiobook. Like, except for, you know, everything else, I guess. But really, the whole thing's my job because I'm self publishing. Amy, literally everything is your job. Oh my God. Gotta love owning all the rights to your book, though, right? Yeah. Self publishing for the win. Whatever. Lucy. There you go. Good morning, good life. Excuse my coziness because it is a little bit cold and I'm just trying to like not be cold right now. You can probably even hear my heat is on. Don't even care about the audio right now. I'm just trying to be cozy. Lucy's cozy. Lou, are you sleepy? So yesterday after I got home from recording the audiobook for the first day, I was doing a lot of work on the manuscript just to get things where I wanted them to be to finish the book today. I really need to finish it today. If that doesn't happen, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed because it's just a whole additional day of having to go to a studio and finish some things. I'm not trying to rush through it. I just know that it can get done in this period of time, so I really wanna do that. But last night was also really stressful because I think, you know, I'm just learning more and more about building a bigger team. I'm just making sure that I communicate well with them and I think that there was like a little miscommunication of like how within reach that I could be while I was recording the book yesterday. And so I think that there was some kerfuffles in the office that I wish didn't happen, but it was not that big a deal, but it was more just like me bugged out that the people in my office like were trying not to bug me because I was recording the audiobook and they probably needed to talk to me. And so that's just like a major learner's curve for me right now is I'm trying to be efficient. I want people to know I'm trying to be efficient, but I don't want them to feel like they can't talk to me. So definitely a lot of things that I had to deal with last night, like literally didn't even find out about until eight o'clock at night. And I was like, I don't understand how did I miss all of this? And in the meantime, I'm just trying to get this audiobook recorded so that it comes out somewhat soon after <laughs> the book launch. Cause I know the way Amazon is, they usually take a while to get their approvals done, especially on the audible side, cause they're very meticulous about that audio. They want it to be really good for you. And I love that. So gotta get it done so it can get done for you. But I also just, I want it to be really good. So there's a balance. I also don't want people to feel like they can't talk to me while I'm doing all of this. But I guess it's just like, yeah, communication, man. I talk a lot about it in the book. Communication is key. Even if you just have to communicate to your dog that it's not time to play because you're doing your morning routine. <laughs> so I'm probably not gonna spend a lot of time recording today while I'm doing the audiobook. I wanna stay focused on the game and get it done. <sighs> If this is a harsh transition, I do apologize, but um, I'll keep you posted on how we do. I know that there's a lot of people who are excited about the book, but are absolutely more of a listener type of learner, and that is why I want to get this done for you. So that's the plan today. I'm going to do it, baby. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's get the audiobook done, please. Also, like an increase of 10 degrees wouldn't hurt anybody, but whatever. Okay, we did it. We got through the whole thing. I am so excited. Thank you, Chris, for doing this for us. Thank you. I will link to his stuff. I am so glad we got done because he literally has to be done in like five minutes. And I was like trying to rush, but trying to do a good job. Corinne, what do you think of the book? Amazing. Corinne's the first, I think, first official reader of the book because yeah. you just heard like, and Chris, but like. I loved it. Yay. My wife will love it. I'm excited for your wife to read it. My wife already does some of those things. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's I'm gonna the send it to all my friends. Best holiday gift ever. True. <laughs> True. Hey, are you struggling to find time for the things you love? Feel like you're constantly on the go, but taking care of everyone else first? You are not alone, and you deserve so much more. Not only are you capable of taking on this challenge, you already have all the tools it takes to make it happen. That resourcefulness is all you need to get activated by your new daily mantra. Good morning, good life. It's my new book, and it launches on Amazon on December 10th. More details at goodmorninggoodlife.com. All right, we got a little bit of a glow going on over here. It's not the best. It's not the best. I wrote about that occasion in my first book. Book? Oh my God. <laughs> blog, vlog, book, book.